Hey there, John Ferriman from Balanced Physical Therapy and Human Performance Center. I wanna to talk to you guys today about maintaining your passion, maintaining your fire. Recently, somebody asked me how, after 22 years, I'm still interested in growing our company. I'm still interested in hiring and in training and in perfecting our residency curriculum and continuing to teach inside of our orthopedic residency as a clinical instructor, on and on and on. Like, how do you do this? Well, first, I love being a physical therapist and I love creating value for our patients and for the communities that we serve. But I went a step further and I, and I said to this, this younger therapist who asked me that question, you know, who's suffering from a little bit of, you know, documentation fatigue, probably like we all have from time to time. I said, are you where you are because you did everything by yourself? And he kind of looked at me with this puzzled look on his face. And I said, no, really, like, are you, are you self-made? And he just kind of laughed and chuckled and giggled and says, no, you know, I had a lot of help. You know, I, I, I graduated with no student loan debt. You know, my parents paid for school. And I said, okay, stop right there. Whoa, first of all, amazing. I didn't have that, you know, benefit. Um, but nobody is self-made, okay? You hear that all the time. Oh, he's a self-made billionaire or she's a self-made such and such. There's no such thing, okay? We've all, all had help along the way in some form, shape, or fashion. We had a teacher who encouraged us or a coach who kicked our ass to perform and, and got another gear out of us that we didn't believe or even know existed inside of us, for example. We had um, somebody who insulted us and called us fat when we were you know, a teenager and we just went mm. and the rest of our lives we spent becoming this, this beacon of light and physical you know, capacity, capability. We got in wicked good shape and we stayed that way for the duration of our lives. Believe it or not, that person who called us that, that thing or whatever it was helped us along the way. We've had lots of people help us along the way that have shaped and molded like clay the people that we are now. And guess what? Whether we realize it or not, we're still in the process of becoming more. And if we're not, we've got to slap ourselves and stop for a minute and say, hey, what's my life all about? Of course we're in the process of becoming more. Remember, life's divided into seasons, okay? And there's a season for everything. You know, right now when I talk to my three daughters, I tell them, look, right now you guys are in the season of, of growing up and of being kids and of having a good time and, and studying hard and, you know, helping mom and dad a little bit, et cetera, et cetera. And after 25, you know, 25 to 50, that's when they're gonna be in their building season, okay? They're gonna build, they're gonna create, they're gonna vision what their life is gonna look like and they're gonna work hard, hard for 25 years to build. And then they're gonna enter the next season, you know, 50 to 75, okay? Maybe their parents, maybe their grandparents, et cetera, et cetera. 75 on, the fourth season of life. Giving back, okay? And, and, and thinking about legacy and thinking about how you wanna be remembered and all of those things. But along the way, please don't ever forget that none of us are self-made. And one of, the, one of the greatest gifts that you can do for your life, for your legacy, and for all those who have helped you get to where you are today, practice gratitude, thank them, you know, whether overtly or just privately in your own mind. Thank them. Thank the coach who made you throw up at practice and, and helped you find another gear. Thank your mom, thank your dad who were so hard on you because they knew you had more in you. Thank the, the folks that teased you in grade school and, and made you develop some steely resolve and some resilience that you got through, that you pushed through. Thank the payers that keep cutting our reimbursement to force us to focus, to get more creative with how we're going to drive value and squeeze more profit out of our businesses. It's just another problem that we get an opportunity to solve, to meet, and to rise above. That is the only way to continue to forge forward. So remember, you were made along the way by a bunch of interactions and a bunch of relationships in your life up to where you are now, and you're still in the process of becoming more and being made into more. You're being forged, okay? Everything that's happened to you hasn't happened to you. It has happened for you. Remember that, okay? And remember to give gratitude. It makes you feel good. It actually, you know, research tells us it's good for our immune system, it's good for our energy, it's good for our mental health, and it's contagious. Just be grateful. Be grateful. I'm grateful that I'm here talking to a camera in my beautiful private office at, at our corporate headquarters. You know, thank you. It's, it's taken 22 and a half years to get here, but I'm grateful for all the failures along the way. Try it on. Thanks.